good morning. What a beautiful morning it is. Sun's just about to come up and um, got my first reasonable signal. I've dug a little bit of trash, um, which I'm obviously going to edit out. And uh, this one's reading a 1244 on the E-Track. That's normally a good sign, so I'm going to give it a dig. It's pretty shallow. Which it obviously is. And it's a little coin. The copper one. Looks like farthing size. Here's the one that's making all the right noises. Reading 1026 that way. And 1229 that way. And apparently it's very shallow. I don't know what that is, but it's going in the pocket of shame. Getting a nice high tone from this one. And whilst it's jumping around on the ferrous scale, it's fairly constant on the conductive, so I'm going to give this one a dig. That looks like a musket ball, but it doesn't seem to have the right colour to it. It's more green in colour. It's not exactly round either. Not sure what that is. It's going to go in the keeper's pocket though. It's reading 12 or 11.31. Supposedly it's very shallow. Which it does appear to be.
Very good, looks like a big old penny. Unfortunately, it looks very, very old. It's practically corroded away. So I think the chances of getting a date or a head off that one are fairly slim. Nevertheless, go into the pocket. This one's reading 1330. That's a signal that's worthy of a dig. It's not going to take much digging by the sounds of it. And that one, unfortunately, is a lump of lead. This is a nice find, not with the detector, but with the eye. Lovely clear pipe. Most of the time you find just the, the stems of them. They're very smashed up. This one's got actually a lovely shape to it. Beautiful, that. Definitely going in the keeper pocket. Definitely worth a dig. Although I can see what it is now. Don't need to dig. Looks like a lump of bronze. Couldn't imagine what it's from, but... Um, going in the keeper pocket anyway. I've come nearly all the way across this field without getting any good signals and this is the first promising one that I've got. Ah, it's another lump of lead. This is reading 1328. Yeah, I thought that was a musket ball when I first uh, unearthed that one. But it isn't. It does look like a bullet of some sort. Definitely a shaped lump of lead, but it's got a flat back on it. This one's reading 10.35. Hopefully, this will finally be a coin I'll be able to get some sort of date off. It's quite crusted up. Now, it's an old penny of some sort. I'll give it a wash off and report back at the end. This one's reading a 1025. And so far, it's proven very hard to find. That's it. A little pistol musket ball. Very good. That's another musket ball. Very nice. Another musket ball. Badly misshapen that one. That definitely wouldn't have flown straight. And there's something in here.
That's an old button. Aha. Well, it's another musket ball. A little tiny one. Done fairly well on musket balls this morning. Not so good on coins though, unfortunately. This is probably going to be my last dig of the day. The world's starting to wake up now and I've got to get home. This is reading a nice 1241. Well, I thought this was a musket ball when I first unearthed this, but um, there's two holes in the top of it there. And what looks like a big hole in the back. So it could be a weight of some sort. This is a nice find, right on the top. I think it's probably supposed to be an eagle, but it looks more like a seagull to me. It's obviously been a, a badge. It's got the fixings on either side of the wings here. It's quite a nice find though. I've been joined by my son, James. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> and he's found something here, which is reading as rings. I've gone over in it. It's reading, uh, I think it was 1024 on the E-Track. Says it's right on the top, so he's going to give it a dig. Go on then. Is it switched on? Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Push it in the soil near near where it was. That's it. We'll give that a dig. We're using a stick because I actually went home, and uh, I left the shovel at home, the spade at home. So we're going all Neolithic now. Right. Get the probe in. Still something there. Hold on, is that a lump of lead just next to your hand there? Ah, it's lead! That's good, good. Try go over from the other way, just to check. Good. Right, mine says it's quite shallow. So do you want to have a go trying to find it with this? And then we'll use our makeshift spade to dig it up. There, just like this, watch. I think it was over here, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. Do you want to use this and I'll, I'll, I'll try and dig it out? Wish we'd brought the speed, I don't know that much. Yeah. All right, have a look. A bit deeper. Oh, what a shambles using a stick. I lift this out. Watch out. Right, have a look in now. Oh, we're close now. Yeah, this was reading 1243, by the way, on my E track. And on the garret, it was just coming up as coins. Have another go. Ooh, you might have it there. 
something there. It's in your hand. I can see something coin shaped. Diddy! Um, oh, is it a coin or is it a button? I think it's a button. Ah, it's a button. Yeah, it is. Let's have a look. I'll just wipe it with my gloves. Oh, look! It's been gilded, hasn't it? Yeah. Let's just have a look. A little bit. That's as clean as we can go, I think. Well, I think we'll, we'll give it a quick wash when we get home, and then we'll have a look. Okay, back in the house now, and this is the total of what um, I found before. Um, I did find a couple of things when I was aided by my son, but it didn't really add that much to the tally. We've got a nice clay pipe. Some coins. In fact, there's only two coins. That one looks like a farthing. And that one is an early Victorian penny. Buttons. Plenty of buttons. And this one that had a bit of gilding on appears to have a knight on it. I would assume it's more modern than the times when knights were a reality. But it's a nice pattern. Seagull badge. Or an eagle badge, I'm not entirely sure. It looks more like a seagull. I'll have to look that one up. Various projectiles, musket balls, and early bullet. Lumps of bronze. These look like little lead weights. Not sure of their exact purpose. Uh, Nice bent nail, glass stopper for an old bottle, and a ring from a bird. And the good thing about these is, if you look on the internet, I think it's the Royal Ornithological Society's page, you can put this number in, J24532, and you can find out what sort of bird it was on, and where the bird came from. And once you've found out where the bird comes from, if you want, you can fill in the details of where this ring was found. Whether it was actually found on a bird, whether the bird was alive or dead, or whether you just found the ring. So a nice variety of finds there, of reasonable interest, no value, but good interest. <laughs>